Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having a fantastic day. So we're here today with Black Sail Season 1 Episode 3 Reaction. So we're now on Episode 3, which will make for a very, a very interesting episode, because guess what? The first episode was very interesting, the second episode was very interesting, so I'm assuming that the third episode will be very interesting. Oh my. Look at my epic predictions again. Also, if you can hear the fun in the background, you probably can't see it, but you can hear it. Uh, it is warm. Um, it's not, well, actually, no, we are in the middle of summer, I guess. So, yeah, it, you know, it kind of comes with, a, with the natural territory, I guess. So, it's kind of warm, and I don't want to do these reactions naked. That would be kind of awkward. So, yeah, the show has enough nudity already, all right? So, yeah. Um, but we met a bunch of lovely characters. Uh, let's just run down the characters that we've met, because I've got them all written down. Oh, yeah. These, these like, little notebooks, right? I went to, like, my local... Uh, market that's like i literally a minute from my heart like i literally live next to a sunday market it's obviously only every sunday and uh, i bought 50 of these little no you know 50 of these little books for like a pound i was like are you sure you're not selling them a pound each and the kid that was working i was like ah, i don't know <laughs> here take 50 take the take the whole block i was like all right <laughs> so that's why if you always see me with one of these, I've got like 50 of these, which is actually kind of annoying because they all look the same and I don't write on the front like what it's about. So I'm always like flicking through and like, what's this? What, what notes have I got written there? But this one is my black sales one. Um, so, so in terms of characters that we've met, we met, we met, Miss, uh, no, I was going to say Mr. Flint, but it's more so Captain Flint. Arr! Captain Flint, who in the first episode killed Singleton, who tried to... Um, I was going to say usurp him, but it, more so who tried to win a democratic uh, election. Um, and I know at the end of the day, it was kind of actually right. <laughs> at the end of the day, it kind of was right. Now, Mr. Not Mr. Captain Flint is after the La Urca de Lima. If you're wondering, that is an ice block, basically. <sighs> Who's after the La Urca de Lima. Um... Uh, and more so, he needed a schedule, which was stolen by John. Um, now, we also have John, who tried to sell the schedule for La Urca de Lima to Captain Vane and his crew, um, who essentially, to be completely honest, are screwed. At, at least Mr... No, not Mr. Scott. Mr. Scott was the other person. What is the guy that is with... That is on Captain Vane's Jack, I think. Can you not read that? I can't. That part right here. Jack. I think that's it. Alright. Um, so we have Jack. I have a terrible handwriting. I would say a doctor's handwriting, but I'm not a doctor. Do lawyers have a bad handwriting stereotype? I don't think so. So I can't use that either. Um, but yeah, we have Cap uh, Charles Vane, uh, Captain Vane, who kill, uh, whose subordinate Jack lost all the pearls trying to make the deal with uh, Max um, being the, intermedi the intermediary between him and uh, John, who has the schedule. Now, John did a very... In hindsight, probably a good move, where he tried... To, uh, that wouldn't have been me. You, see, you can see that I've you know, written... The, um, it's been like two days for me, or three days for me, since like I watched episode two, all right? Um, and I've already for, I, I already didn't know what Jack's name was. Like, I... That's not happening. I could look at this like a hundred times. I'd be like, okay, Captain Flint killed Singleton. Captain Vane, Charles, or Jack. Okay, Gates is the quartermaster. Billy, the bosun. John has the schedule. I'd be like, at the second I look away, I'm like, already, okay, what did I say? <laughs> like, already. I'm like, uh, what did I just say? But yeah, and at the end of season, not season two, at the end of episode two, we also had um, Flint arrive at his, I'm assuming his home, with his uh, wife, uh, girlfriend, I mean we haven't seen him be interested in any other girls, so uh, that is very likely the case, that that's like his lover. Um, Richard Guthrie, we, he's not woken up yet, he's still shot and whatnot, but we also had Eleanor Guthrie, who is running things, and uh, had to make a decision between choosing Max or choosing her ambition everything that she's worked for and her and her father have worked for I guess um, and she chose her ambition which Max obviously took um, very personal which you know why wouldn't you 
um, that is an actual, that's actually something that is just, a, that you can be justified for taking very personal. So that's a okay. Uh, Mr. Scott, who works under Eleanor Guthrie. Um, and besides that, besides that, we've also got Randall. I've got Randall's name written down. They haven't given us too many, well, they have given us quite a few names, but you know, from the crew itself, they haven't given us too many names besides Mr. Gates, Billy, obviously John, Captain Flint, and Randall. Uh, we also had one person whose name I didn't write down. Actually, two people whose name I didn't write down. Um, the one person was the one that Eleanor was arguing with and until Vane appeared and was like, Ah, you know what? If you didn't agree with her terms, your body may be found lying somewhere and your cargo all gone. What's my name? Oh, my name is Charles Vane. And the guy was like, all right, all right. I didn't write his name, his name down. He did mention his name, but I didn't write it down. And then on the other side, you also had uh, the person that works alongside uh, Jack um, and also works under Captain Vane, who I didn't write the name down, the woman who seems to be going after Max. So that's now we caught up. Uh, that's basically what is that, that's a long call. It's six minutes. That I, I, I'm gonna talk about it. All right, I, I, I don't mind talking about it. I mean, obviously for you lot, it'll be easier because there will be a YouTube. YouTube has a new function where like you can actually section your video. So if you just want to go to the reaction, you can just go to the reaction. I guess it's yeah, that's not an issue for for you lot. So perfect. That was episode one and episode two. And my TV just went off. Is the light fine? Yeah, the light is fine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop into season one, episode three. For those of you guys, ladies and gentlemen, watching on uh, full length, first of all, let me just turn on my TV. Um, I just like the the extra light. I know it's it might be flickering or whatnot, but let's have a look how it looks. Come on, load. Why is it so low? As long as okay. There's actually no difference at all from what I've noticed. Okay, that's fine then. Um, I let me just write episode three, so I don't have to do that during the reaction. And let us get started with episode three, ladies and gentlemen. I hate the I'm, but I, I I have to say this. I hate the Amazon player um, because like sometimes when I press play, ha happened to me in like the first two episode already, which is why you probably saw like a little cut off, I guess, if you want to call it, like, a little, mm -mm. Uh, because the Amazon player, sometimes when you, like, press the play button, the, the play thing, it just doesn't work, it, it, like, just drops and it doesn't work, so I'm hoping it works now, and I don't have to, like, do the second time, uh, which just makes it a little bit more awkward for you lot who's, who are trying to sync it, so, episode three of Black Sales, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get started in three, two, one, See, that's what that's exactly what I mean. That's exactly what that's exactly what I mean. Like I'm pressing it and it just doesn't work. I'm, I'm gonna, okay, I, I hope all of you managed to go back to the beginning. I do apologize. I, I don't want to like edit it again, so that you actually know my struggle. Basically, <laughs> I want you all. To, I want you all to know my struggles. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get started with episode three in three, two, one. Yes, finally it works. Second time again. It's oh, never the first time. Always the second time. Maybe I should like just. Pretend to like press the first time, like okay, now is the actual countdown 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There we go. We're seeing the skirmishes. Exactly. Never me. <laughs> and yet, he lost the pearls. But that would never have been me. I would never... I I wrote on this page, I wrote, right? It's a fresh page. I wrote episode three just a second ago. If I didn't look at it, I would have already forgotten what I wrote. <laughs> Although, granted, when I did... Back when I used to do, like, math exams, I used to uh, memorize all my answers in my head because the results... Uh, 
would be uploaded on like student websites, like what what students thought the answer was, and I was I always like check right after the exam, like okay, what was the what did I think? Okay, I thought that. What is the actual result? What do other people think? Okay, it's that. Okay, good. So I knew already, like, when I, when I finished my math exam, I knew exactly how many marks I got. So that's why I was, like, already, like, okay. I got an A star. I was like, all right. I got 98 out of 100. Good. I got 99 out of 100. Good. I was just that kind of student back then. I'm, I've, that was the only time in my life where I was dedicated to studying. And I don't know why. Then you look at my uni days, where, you're, where I'm supposed to study more. I did my dissertation on the last day. In a, in a day. My masters. I did my masters dissertation. Fifteen thousand words. Just the, the actual articles. Fifteen thousand words dissertation on the last day. But no, for my high school exams, I studied. I don't know why. I know why. A friend of mine had the best results in that area, so I wanted to beat him. That's why. <laughs> That's why. I always happy that I beat him. Anyway, three. You can tell by this guy who that is. Mr. Flint. Captain Flint. I need to stop saying Mr. Flint. I'm assuming that's where he lives, like that's his home, like where he lives outside of his uh, pirate ship because he's clearly someone that isn't just a pirate, like that doesn't just strive for the pirate's life as you can probably tell. That's a cozy little place. Sorry. Probably both. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Probably both. Spot on, as per usual. <laughs> Not as bad as it looks it. <laughs> okay. Also, Miranda. I f he said him. I need to turn the subtitles on. He said him, right? I'm not, like, mistaken here. He said him. Who's him? It. Like, oh, are you talking about him as in... Max. Well, she says she wasn't stopped. Yeah, she... I don't think she really trusted you. I don't think she cared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, yeah, I yeah, read yes. At this point, yeah? So what I was saying, I think when he uh, he said him, I thought I think he means uh, John. Yeah, definitely. John is an idiot. If he if he writes it all down. 
Because this actually writes it all down. They're going to kill him. What's in your mind there, my friend? I just want you home and safe. Precisely. Okay. So they don't know about this. Is that Mr. Yeah, that's Mr. You're gonna. Yeah, how do you explain that? Like, oh, it's just half a pro. I, 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 I have nothing to do with that. How do you explain that? It's like, um, apply medical treatment on him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And the pearls are gone. I don't think... I think they want your head. All right, so I'm writing Jack's name down because now I can be sure. Jack equals quarter master. What's her name? Uh, did she just leave, let Max go? Look at all of them staring. Can they even read? How learned were they? I mean, she should be able to read, granted. But pirate? Pirates? He likes books, we've seen that already. He's, this time he's not telling them because good good I, I think that's it good stuff I I trust hashtag trust hey <laughs> Even the wrong things. You let me on a ship? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. He is risking it all, but I like it. You can kill me. There's that. Hey, hey. I trust you. You trust me, eh? <laughs> you know what? I. I you. <laughs> he slimed his. He slimed his way up to this part. He clearly has a good head. He clearly has a good head on his shoulders. He has a good head on his shoulder, so I'm like, yeah, you know what? That's a not here, not right now. Don't want to mind the captain kind of look. I trust him.
so. He's like, nah, we don't have the money for that, bruv. Alright, this is this is war. This is like this is this is combat. War. I wonder how the show will do combat. I know we had a little bit of like fist fight in episode one, but still. It's about the best chance. Right? It, it, I wish they were more honest with their captain, though. Uh, straight up. He's got a good head on his sh The fact that he got all the way here is like... He won't be fine. <laughs> he won't be fine. Will Randall be suspicious? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Mr. Cook. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. <laughs> now, you know what? This guy is way too... Way too crazy, way too much of a lunatic for me to be like, I, 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 I'm not believing it. I, I just don't believe it. I think he's putting up an act. Maybe not an act, but like he wants to be underestimated. Who does that? Ah! Like, bro. Okay. We're screwed. Great. My father? Uh, and how do you figure that? <laughs> how do you manage to do that? And you can't. I... He's got a good head on his uh, on his shoulders. Ah, uh, already playing the game. Playing the game. Ooh, those those fingernails though. No bueno. Look at him trying to try to play, play in the game. Uh, try, trying to. Never, uh, I overestimated him. I overestimated Randall. 
I was wrong. Maybe he is just like that. <laughs> For a second, I was like, ah, okay, I think he's playing. I think Randall is playing a game, but now I'm like, ah, he's being played right now. He's being played by John. There is no way he's playing a game. This guy's definitely seen better days. Uh, yeah, he's going ahead with it. <laughs> ah, what's his take on this? Let's not forget this was in like the 70s, 80s. And now she's playing. <laughs> oh, you can see it. You can see the blood rush in his face. All right, Eleanor. All right, Eleanor. You've just made us. You've just become a fan favorite of mine. <laughs> the one with the sword, eh? The one with the weapon. Nah, everyone's content except for him, that's what he means. Alright. My goodness. That's true. That's two days too long. They're already staring, they're already doing their investigations. Already plotting. He doesn't. He doesn't. Ah, uh, yeah, you're making a mistake. He could die here, right? That's all I'm gonna say. Very good chance that you could die right here. Look who's right there. I, I see. I, I, I'm, I'm seeing you. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Weasel yourself in. Know everyone that's plotting and conspir conspiring against the captain and then expose them for the frauds they- well not frauds For, for, for the right people they are because, because they, they're right All right <laughs> Sir Francis Drake. All right. I mean, with that, with that kind of view, I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> Horningold, Captain Horningold. That's a lot of view, though. Ooh. 
too fast. You haven't even settled yet. I. I. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, that's going to go over well. Flint. So... Gates the second his ship. Alright. 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 I haven't seen him as a captain yet, so that'd be interesting. I have a name to write down, James. King James? Times have changed. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. The grave digger is waiting for all of us. And so is the Grim Reaver. That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. That may be one of my favorite quotes of all time. After 50 years at sea, you're the only one that's gotten no one with age. That's just fantastic. My goodness, son. Make me hungry. Please, tell me. Please tell me. Go on. My bet is on wife. She doesn't have a ring. She doesn't have a ring. No, she does have a ring. All right. Skip telling him then. She, I, she does have a ring though on her left hand, so. So my guess is on wife. Kids will be kids, eh? Kids will be kids, eh? He's proving himself worthy and loyal. That's the, that's the thing. Untitled Goose Game. Because I've been... <laughs> yep. Trying to prove his loyalty. Exactly. Please. 
please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, that sums it up very well. <laughs> That's... That sums it up very well. Randall is Randall. I overestimated him. I'm going to have a lot of fun with those two, I have to say. I'm going to have a lot of fun with those two. One quarter master to another quarter master. Eh, no. That's just... Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everyone knows. Everyone knows. <laughs> Get on a ship and flee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sail away. Ha <laughs> ha. Perhaps. Eh, but still. Yeah. Ah, those words got to him. Those words got to him, damn it. Jack just wheeled his way in somehow. Is he gonna be like, I don't want to be captain? Alright. That's how you know it's serious. The accountant. I can't be captain. Give it to Billy. Ah, oh, vain. Oh my god! <laughs> to be <being> serious. <laughs> Second only to you, mate. Eh? Are we sure about that? <laughs> My goodness, Jack really got to him. Like Jack was like desperate, and he's like, "Let me just say one last thing before you hop off." He's desperate. They're desperate. <laughs> he, has he already told the crew? Nah. Uh -huh. Much. 
This guy looks like he's like drunk 24 7. Like, he's like, ooh, what's your only mask? What's it? That is the bigger picture. Eleanor. We're really, really coming with that offer. Come on now. That, that's, that's low. Playing that game, that is low. That is low to the lowest, to the absolute lowest degree of low. She's not going to see him any different because of that. She might be like, wow, nice, good job. But beyond that, nah. This is not going well. I, 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 ooh, no. <laughs> this is not going well. He's gonna like, basically invite everyone here just to say, I, I, that's basically it. That's, that's, it's not going well. <laughs> Get on with it. Good way to start a conversation. <laughs> you see that? You see that look that you just gave? Like, I'd like a moment to confer. When my captain, like, bro, let me just try and shut him up. <laughs> I meant you. <laughs> you it's it. You know what I can say though? Vane and Flint are of the same ilk. So Vane's gonna clap back with something, I think. He's gonna clap back. He can't just let Flint do all the talking. He's gonna come back with something. Pay us. Five billion. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, they wanted the votes for Singleton. Uh, they single yeah singleton right yeah leaving those two alone my goodness <laughs> I mean, yes, I, I am. I most certainly am. I expect you to come with a clap back. That's a bit much, but the injury... That could be anything. Ooh, hoo, hoo. All right. That's all. Uh, of course. <laughs> I 
No. no. Vane is gonna accept it. <laughs> uh, he is. Did you see how how, how much you get, Mister Mister Gates? But then the deal off. I had a feeling it would be vain. I trust it. This guy is madly in love. Madly in love. Ah. Let's hope for a successful voyage. The captain has made his decision. The captain has made his... You can see them two in the back looking on. Quartermaster on the left. Last night's mess? What mess? The schedule? They found Max, didn't they? She's all yours. They found Max, didn't they? That's the mess. And that's why I could all go up and smoke if Eleanor finds out. Alright. Tell me I'm right. Tell me I'm right. Of course I'm right. Spot on, as they would say. I'm spot on as usual. I think he's gonna let her just go now. Why did you leave? Ah. Oh, that's got a sting. Stinger in the heart. Yeah, he just letting her leave. I'm not killing her. <laughs> she won't. Ah. What kind of glass? Like, do I, I don't wear glasses, as you can probably tell. Are, are those actual sunglasses that like double? I can, I can understand how that would work. Double layered sunglasses. Of course, the guard falls asleep. That's why you do guard rotation shifts. Okay. Yeah, it's fine.
Okay, so that's how she keeps herself busy. Talking. Ah, uh, the window. Yeah, those kind of windows. Uh, talking to Pastor Lambrick, I think. I wrote Lambrick. Uh, he might have said Lamberk. Lambrick, I think. What a great guard. <laughs> Don't tell me he's gonna see Mr. Guffey Richard. Trying to find some clothing. Uh-oh. Why, why, I... This guy. <laughs> Where are your earthly... There are several, there are several, uh, contradictions. That's the word I was looking for. Um, that's Mr. and Mrs. Thomas. That's her. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't you dare show yourself right now. So there's more to her than one might assume. Interesting. I mean, obviously there is more to her. We barely know anything about it. But that's interesting. So, there's more more to her, as in, like, significantly more to her. Mr. and Mrs. Hamilton. Thomas Hamilton. And that was her. I'm pr I need to go back, but I think that was her. Is that the pastor or... Is that the Pastor Lambric or Mr. Back in his bed, uh huh. The guard is doing a terrific job. I know where this is going. <laughs> All you had to do was show that you trusted her a little bit. As Mrs. Uh, Miranda Barlow. Ba Mi That's not her name. Miss Miranda Barlow. Fake name. Alias. Aha. Uh -huh. So the ring. That wasn't Flint, I think. Well, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun editing. <laughs> Very fun editing. Basically, there will be nothing off the scene here. Uh, 
Ah, uh, don't tell me. Don't. That's not why. That's definitely not why I thought. Uh, that's exactly like this. Her leaving then just perfect timing. Everything just went well. As it's, I know for a fact it's all gonna get ruined in like the next. How long is this episode left? Nine minutes. It's gonna get ruined in the next nine minutes of this episode. She's gonna scream or something, and she's gonna be like, huh? What's going on outside? Bro, I couldn't have written the script myself. Ah. <sighs> Everything went well. Every... Of course. Of course. I knew it. I thought at the end of the episode. I said that's why I said there are like 10 minutes left. Your deal is over. Ah. Of course, those two would arrive. Calm down, fam. To get rid of him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, there is no loyalty amongst pirates. There is no... No loyalty among pirates. Vain. Vain episode three and you're gone, fam. You're, you're already gone, fam. We saw what happened with Captain Flint. They were like, Captain Flint? Who's Captain Flint? Singleton for the win. No loyalty. Absent. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> K. Oh, she just finished him. And not in that manner. Not the way that he wanted to be finished off. She just finished him. What about Jack? What about Jack? Okay, well, she ain't moving. <laughs> Jack, what about you? Jack, what about... Captain Jack Sparrow, what about you? This guy still wanted to go in. Damn it! I don't think... She doesn't want to be taking care of you. Oh, she is... Oh, she's still pulling that card. Oh, my. You did! You did this to me! <laughs> okay. Okay. Vane was finished off by Eleanor. Vane was finished off by Eleanor. Max just finished off Eleanor. Oh, he still has some loyal men. Oh, that's the ultimate F you to Eleanor. That is the ult. Oh my goodness. Oh, Eleanor, how does it feel? Oh my goodness. Oh, did, 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 wait, no, no, way too. Oh my goodness. Way too much just happened there at the end. Too much. 
Oh, he must be buzzing. Yeah, he is like, oh yeah, good stuff. No vein. You're going back to being a captain. Oh, look, look at him. Look, look, did, did, did you see that smile? That smug smile. Like, oh, made this out. Like, bro. Everything went well. Everything went well. Vane is done. I need to, we need to talk. Oh, is he gonna kill it? That was good. Billy is a great actor. The way he just stared him down there, no hesitation, no flinching, no anything. Uh, Prime Mount is that that's what he said. Miranda Ballo. Let's get it right. Miranda Ballo. There she is. What's so special about... I mean, that's a fake name. We know that already. Because she was in the picture. And that picture was signed by Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Hamilton. Hamilton. Like, what kind of Hamilton? There are plenty of people in history with the name Hamilton. I've already said this. This is episode three, and a lot, of, a lot has been done in these first three episodes. That is like, About that. About that. Mm, she has had a terrible evening. Mr. Scott, always there. Just him, just... Hi there, I'm here. So then, who is Mrs. Barlow or Mrs. Hamilton? Is her first name really Miranda? Should be. What a way to finish the episode, alright? What? Actually, you know what? Before we get into my post episode, what do I do? Before let's before we get into my post episode discussion, I just want to go back very quickly um, to that picture where it said Mister Mister and Mrs. Thomas Hamilton um, to the painting because I want to see whether that was. Um, Whether that actually was Flint or not, I don't. I, my first thought was that it wasn't Flint, but I just want to make sure that I got that right. That that was her. I'm, 
like ninety percent sure. Oh, Should be a close up. Yeah, that's definitely a her. Unless Captain Flint has changed. No, that's that isn't him. So interesting. Very, very interesting. Then who is Thomas Hamilton? I need to put an asterisk here. So I remember. Tom, I can't write like that. Thomas Hamilton. Because a pirate at the end who was speaking to Billy was saying that you trust the captain so much and like, you think that the captain is such a good person because you don't know about Mrs. Barlow. And wait a minute. No, no. She has to be like, like important, important. She has to be important, important, because one, she knew uh, Bible scriptures off by heart, which a lot of people back then did. Yeah, fine. Um, but to me, that's just, that to me that indicates that she is learned. Uh, she knows how to read. Um, seemingly, she, all she does is read. To me, that m might indicate that like she fled from somewhere, because who knows about her here? Flint. Uh, I keep forgetting his name. Bill Gates. And now Mr. Guthrie. Richard Guthrie. And some of the crew members. Um, so, who? I wonder what her role in the story is. I wonder what she is. To me, I, I think she might have been... See, my thought, my thought process right now is that she might be a princess. Uh, but if she was a princess, there would be so many people after... There would be so many people searching for her that I just can't see that. But the reason why I'm thinking princess is because in the first episode, um, Captain Flint said that he wanted to be king. So, like, my thought immediately went to, like, okay. Is he trying to be king and uh, make, trying to make her her queen? Um, but it could also just be that he is... I mean, if he fled with her, there wasn't anything romantic between. I, I thought uh, there wasn't anything romantic between them. Like I assumed wife, because she was like, I don't. I, I'm glad that you're back here, and she had a ring on her on her uh, on, on her finger. So I was like, wife. But now I'm thinking, rich family, like rich. Whoever that, whoever that Thomas Thomas Hamilton is key already. We're straight up, we know that. Unless that was a mother, I don't think so. I don't think so. That was there for that. That was there for a reason, okay. Uh, and then with that being brought back at the end, with oh, you, that's because you don't know who Mrs. Barlow is. One second. One second. What did he say here? Now, would you like to? One second. About the witch that's talking in his ears. One second. Turk Flint's Flink is undead, walks the earth without a soul. He believes there is a witch who lives deep inside the island who controls his every move. That couldn't have just been said for just for shits and giggles now, could it? Okay, okay. Now to, to me that indicates that Flint he's not being controlled like a puppet, but Flint is um he's being what's the right phrase? 
he's serving under her as a protector or as a guardian or name something he's essentially there to protect her and she is like his master in a way we don't know more we don't know more so i kind of want to move on from that topic but that's just like my immediate thought right now that's just me like trying to put everything together um but he also said that he wants to be king it's like maybe he wants to get to that position so that he isn't just her protector any longer, but like actually worthy of um, her hand in marriage or something. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, all right? I, I just straight up don't know. Now, what we did learn is that Jack is also quartermaster. I mean, we saw that play out as well, so that, w that didn't need to be told. Um, but yeah, Jack is the quartermaster of what remains of the of, of Captain Vane's group, Captain Vane's squad. Um... We met someone called Captain, oh my goodness, what's it right here? Horningold. Honeygold? I think that's an R. Horningold. Ben Horningold, who was uh, a protector of the island. He, he was sitting in his little chair, talking about how he took the chair from Captain, uh, well he said Sir Drake, but I'm assuming that's the pirate, uh, Captain uh, Drake, um, who I know from One Piece. <laughs> um, obviously, a spin off of that character, I guess. Just a name, essentially. Um, but yeah, so Captain Horningo, that's essentially the protector of the island. He's basically the flint vein of the previous generation. And he was saying to Mr. Bill Gates how, you're the only pirate I've met in 50 years um, who's gotten dumber with age. I was like... My goodness. <laughs> but my, my goodness. My goodness. Now, they mentioned a James that fled to France. I would talking about King James here. Which... Let's have a look. King Edward. Henry? William. James. When was James? What year? I'm, I'm trying to figure out which year. King James. I'm going to do a very quick Google search here. Um, I should just... When did King James flee to France? According to Britannica, James's palace, from which he escaped to the Netherlands in April 1648. He rejoined his mother in France in early 1649. All right. Okay, so roughly 1648, 49-ish, um, after his fleeing to Netherlands. Okay, uh, I wasn't sure about the time frame there. Then we also, oh my, I need to write this much better. Pastor Lambrick, I think. Who seems to n know uh, who Miranda Barlow or Mrs. Hamilton is. Um, and he also made an offhand comment about, is he keeping you here? So, uh, is uh, Captain Flint keeping you here? I, I, I think I don't have enough information. I think that's what it is. I think I don't have enough information to really put the pieces together. Um, but I'm trying, okay? I, I'm trying, man. So, allow me my theories. I, I don't want anyone, unless like I'm saying something that's like completely wrong, that I should know, and I, I've missed something, don't shut down my theories, all right? That's all I'm asking. Um, now, I will have a mods, I will have mods on, uh, on, on YouTube for the show, of course, but all I'm asking is don't shut down my theories, all right? That's all, that's all I'm, I'm not asking too much here. Don't shut down my theories unless, and, and don't, obviously don't spoil me, um, unless, Unless I'm so off the mark, and that I should know that I'm so off the mark. Like, for example, if I started to call Vane Flint and Flint Vane, and I keep doing that, and I keep thinking that I'm right, obviously then correct me. You know, I'm not saying don't correct me, but like, when it's just me throwing things at the wall, seeing what sticks, um, I, I say a lot. As you've probably noticed already, I, I say a lot of theories. I try and... When I watch something, I try and uh, speculate. I'm not the person that like just watches something like, oh, that's neat. All right, moving on to the next step. That's not that's not me. All right, I kind of want to speculate here as well a little bit. 
um, just to get my theories out. That's that's why I'm making these videos. I started this channel originally to talk about things and then kind of shifted over to making reactions. I don't know how that happened, but um, I do know how that happened, but that was such a long time ago. It doesn't actually matter. Um, but I stopped talking as much, which is what this is, what, what I have the opportunity to do here right now. So that's that. Now, that's about the episode. Besides one crucial thing. And I'm putting, I'm, I'm closing my book for this. I'm putting away my pen. Because I need to emphasize this. Vane is done. Captain Vane is done. I know some people stuck with him. I know some people believed in him. Everything went well. Everything went well. Everything went well. He made a deal. He was going to go after the La Urca de Lima alongside Captain Flynn. I mentioned last episode. Well, I can. This, this show has been going. I, I should actually play that clip instead of me saying it again, but I won't because I'm that lazy. But, but basically, what I said last episode was uh, this show has been going so crazy fast, and so many things have happened in such a short time that I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the season, Vane and Captain Flint are working together. One episode later, we're working together. During that same episode, we're not working together. Like, like, how fast are things moving? I like it. It's why I'm, I'm trying to, like, speculate and theorize as much as possible right now. Because by, by the time the next episode rolls around, I'm like... Huh? <laughs> like, everything that I just said will have basically not mattered. We didn't even know who Miss Barlow was, and then this episode's like... Who is she? Who is she really? Like, who is she really? So, Vayne is done. I do like the fact that Max is staying with uh, Vayne. Um, it was kind of like an F you, really, to Eleanor. That's what it felt like. Um, everything went well. And then Eleanor just had to come, and the crew just had to be like, Ew, Max. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's rape her. Like, everything went well. Everything went well. Until that very moment. Until that very moment. And it's like, wow. Now, Flint is happy. He didn't like Vane. He didn't like Vane at all. And now... Now we're in the situation where it's like, what next? <laughs> what next? Truly, truly, ladies and gentlemen. What next? Well, they're going after the La, La Urca de Lima. But what next on the island? What's gonna happen to Vane? What's gonna happen to Flint? What's gonna happen to Billy, who started listening about, you know, Captain Flint and potentially what Captain Flint is all about? Uh, is that gonna have repercussions? Because we did see that John was listening in. He he wants to prove his loyalty. I mean, he wanted to prove his loyalty to Flint um, through Billy. But now that Billy is listening and he may hear things that he shouldn't hear, um, but then again, why would that random crewman know about things that he shouldn't hear? Um, but may it be a case where, like, John will have to make a decision between Billy and Flint? Could be. Uh, although I don't see Billy betray. He's he, he's just he's just too far in at the moment. Like he's just so far in. He 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 did what he did to Singleton. Um, that like at this point there is no backing up. There's like there, there, that's just not the case. You, you can't just be like, oh, you know, I, I, no, I was I was lying, because then you're looking bad as well. So that's he's not gonna do that. He's definitely not gonna do that. I can I can assure you that much. I know that much. Um, but yeah, besides that, besides that, besides that, ladies and gentlemen, that was episode three. I'll see you all for episode. Four, ladies and gentlemen until then have a nice day have a nice evening have a nice night and as always you can get early access as well as full length on uh, patreon.com I was well well we'll see uh, there might be super early access as well just be sure to check patreon first because uh, with the way copyright strikes have gotten have happened um, this week for me uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if Super Early Access will be a thing. Because I can plan for Early Access. Um, but with Super Early Access, like I need to get the videos out at least a week before they are up on uh, YouTube. Just to see whether they're being taken down or not. Um, so we'll see. Um, just, 
just check Patreon uh, if, you, if you're interested in uh, early access as well as potentially super early access, but full length will be there regardless, ladies and gentlemen. So that's all I will have to say, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you all in the next one, everyone. Until then, have a nice day. Peace out and bye. Hey everybody, if you like this video, please be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, be sure to check out Patreon to get one week early access as well as full length. But until next time everybody, peace out and have a nice day.